Welcome back. This month, Montana, the magazine of Western history celebrates 68 years in print. It was started in 1951 by then Montana Historical Society director Kay Ross Toole, who had a vision of bringing the state's history to the people. Now, nearly seven decades later, and with a new editor at the helm, the magazine is looking to the future. Montana, the magazine of Western history, has spent the last 68 years bringing history to life through expert research, writing, and imagery. It is an academic resource that is used by historians, scholars, specialists in particular fields, um, and schools. But how it's presented makes it of interest to thousands. So anybody who's interested in Montana or history in general can pick it up and will find something interesting. Diana DiStefano became editor of the magazine about seven months ago. In looking ahead to its future, she plans to continue telling many of the stories that readers have come to enjoy, while expanding to focus on some that have gone untold. I hope all Montanans and all Westerners can find stories and histories in the magazine that, that appeal to them. Though the passage of time has changed the publishing industry for some, Montana the Magazine of Western History continues in print. They like being able to buy it on the newsstand. We sell a lot of them in our bookstore. People who are traveling and visiting Montana um, like to pick up a copy of the magazine. Yet they do have a digital presence, including on Facebook. Which is something fun because otherwise we don't get to see how do people respond and they react unless they write us a letter. But on Facebook it's right there and they, they comment on articles and bring up their own uh, stories related to articles. DeStefano would like to see more of that interaction. They're starting to include commentary in the magazine and look forward to the discussions to come. My goal is always to not just um, have passive readers, but to have readers who can be engaged. And so I'd like to hopefully start some conversations about, about history and how we tell history and how we do research and, and why history is relevant. Stefano and Ferguson say the magazine is unique in that it is part of the Historical Society. Other similar publications are often associated with universities. Subscriptions are included with membership to the Historical Society or can be purchased on their own.